the front of your ankles. And then we'll set the right hand down and inhale the left arm up and over. Good, and just inhaling. See if you can feel through the tips of your fingers. So feel the space out in front of the fingers with your fingers. Eyes looking up towards the ceiling, shoulders back. Good, and inhale coming up and exhale just. Sweep the arms to the other side. And there. You want to try to keep the ribs lifting and spinning. So we inhale and exhale. And look up towards your fingers or up towards the ceiling. Good. One more breath here. And an inhale coming up. Great, and then let's interlace our hands behind the back, take a nice big breath in, lifting up through the side body, chest open, throat open. And then on the exhale, we're just gonna fold forward. And you just come to wherever your edge is. If you can touch your head to the floor, that's fine too. Good, inhale, we'll come right back up, opening the chest, open the throat, and then exhale. Coming forward, take a little pause at the bottom of your breath. And then inhale, one more here. Open the sides of your waist. And exhale, fold in. Hold it here a couple of breaths. Mm. Any little deeper breaths or yawns or sighs is a good sign. Mm, God, and then we'll release the arms, come on up. And let's go ahead and come onto our hands. We're gonna turn the fingers in towards the knees here. Yeah, and then you can tuck the toes under and just gently slide your hips back a little bit and you should feel a nice stretch in your forearm and then inhale come forward exhale maybe sliding back a little more don't overdo it just give the forearms a little bit of a stretch inhale come forward onto the heels of the hands and then exhale stretching back a little more and you'll just come to the sweet edge Great. And then keeping our toes tucking under, we're gonna sit back on our heels as best we can. And then take your wrists and just do some nice little circles after that. Yeah. Go in both directions. Yeah. Like a little dancer of, or something. <laughs> Great, and then let's come forward with our hands and wanted to take a downward dog with a block. So up to you, but supported dog pose is a little bit cooler in nature. So you can take the block high or medium or low. And then just reaching back in dog pose, rest your head down. Either way you wanna rest your head. Micro bend your elbows and slide and glide your shoulder blades down your back. So see if you can just feel that, the shoulder blade moving through the tissues, sliding and gliding. And the hip sliding up and back. Yeah, beautiful. Take another 30 seconds here or so. Listening to your breath. Let your head soften, your jaw relax. Mm. And take one more big in breath. Follow out your exhalation to the very tail end. Yeah, feel free to breathe through your mouth, let your jaw relax. And then we're gonna walk our hands all the way back to the feet and you can separate your feet just as wide as the mat. And I'm just gonna close this. 
Yeah, you can find that very center of your feet. And spreading your toes, maybe even manually spreading the little toe, the second toe. Yeah. And so a little hamstring love here, right? We're gonna just let the weight fall just in front of your heels and start to tone, don't overdo it, but just tone the quad muscles. Like they're just hugging into the femur bones. Upper body fully relax in the jaw. Mm. Good. And then we'll take our hands and we're just going to bring them to the outer edges of the shins here and give a little squeeze with your hands, squeeze your shins in and move your inner thighs apart. And then you should feel a broadening across both the hamstring, the lower back, right? We hug in with the shins and we move the inner knees and our thighs apart. And just breathe here. Mm -hmm. Good. And finish out your next breath completely. And we'll scoot our feet in a little bit closer. Bend the knees. And then you're just going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. So find your legs. Do the work of the legs to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Bless you. Bless you. Great. And then just find yourself vertically for a moment. So find the top of your head. The feet on the floor, great. Yeah, anybody else get lightheaded? I just got lightheaded. <laughs> so let's do a little more side body stretching. Inhale the arms up, take a hold of your left wrist. So I'll just show you, Marissa, and we'll come up and over to our right. Yeah, and then take your left foot out a little bit. Yeah, and you're just gonna balance here with your left foot. So you're just touching the toes. And you're reaching this left arm towards the sky. Beautiful. And then we'll come back to center. And then we'll do the other side. Take your right wrist and curve like a willow tree, bending. And then reaching the right foot into the floor as you open the whole side. Good, inhale, coming back. And then we'll release the arms down. Great, and then we'll take our hands just onto the lower back here. And then you just wanna find the stability down through your feet and start to open the front, taking the spine into extension here. We can do a yin variation of this so we're not pushing we're just grounding and opening breathing in side body long breathing out shoulders back and down good one more big in breath here and then we're going to take the hands onto the back of the legs and just gently give your hamstrings a little love here a little squeezing massaging Come down to the calves, little squeeze in the calves. And fold forward and just relax, relax the jaw. Feel that yummy uh, healing of gravity here as you let your jaw hang, your torso, your spine tractioning. Great, and then we'll inhale. From here, look up and you'll just step your left leg back into a low lunge, bringing the back knee down. You're welcome to put a little padding under the knee. So we'll do a little bit of work here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. 
and then bring your hands up onto your thigh here for a moment and just do a couple hip circles. Yeah, just making some nice big circles. And then we'll come back to a lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And take your right wrist, come up and over to your, sorry, you're taking your left wrist with your right hand. Yeah, and going up and over to the side. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Couple of breaths. So play in your body here, play with the spirals. Breathe into the tissues. So as good, inhaling, reach the arms and exhale, hands come down and then we'll come into our runner stretch or half Hanuman, digging your heel in. Yeah. And then with a big breath in, lift to the belly, up to the heart and chest and exhale, hold in. So just meet, meet the sensation in your body, right where it is. Did a whole class this morning on just watching the negative self-judgment, thinking you need to be somewhere other than you are and just being truly authentic with where your edge is your body. Ah. And then again, stay long enough where you can really drop in. Nice. And then we'll inhale, bend forward into a lunge again. Let's set our left hand just about a foot from the right foot and we'll come into a nice open twist here. So on the in breath, see if you can breathe space into your spine, ribs, side body and exhale, twisting and opening. And just see if you can sort of feel your way through the movement, feel the air. Ah, good, and then inhale, releasing it back. Let's just pick up our back leg and we're gonna walk over to the left and just pause here for a moment in the middle, we'll go into Prasarita. And since we're doing a little more yin work, you can take your block and rest your head if that feels good. And just finding that balanced place in your feet, right? So the just enough tone in the legs to support the opening and the flow. I'm steady. I just find when I'm doing in work just to keep finding a smile on the face, a softening in the eyes, allowance, receiving. Mm. Great, and then we'll inhale, look up, lift the head and chest, and we'll walk just to the back of our mats, turning the left foot out, and bring your back knee down to the floor, using a pad under your knee, that works. And then inhale, come on up, we'll sweep the arms up, take a hold of your right wrist, and this time, as you inhale, you wanna think about Lifting the ribs up off the pelvis and exhale, bending to your side. Mm. Inhale, exhale. Mm. Good, and then inhale, reaching back up. We'll exhale, bow forward, and place the left hand out from your left foot, and then open your left arm up to a nice big twist here. Yeah. And just moving slowly internally. 
Feel the prana moving from your center points out through the tips of the fingers, toes, feet. Yeah. Pulsation of your breath, inhaling. And exhale. Great. And then we'll release the hands. Inhale, coming into half Hanuman. I might have done that a little out of order. I'm not sure. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. So digging your, just toning, digging your heel until you feel the hamstring. Just hug up into the bone. Take a big breath in. And exhale. Hold in. See if you can open up your toes and the spaces between the toes. Mm. Soften into the sensation, just breathing right through it. And last breath or two here. Great, and then we'll inhale, come back into a lunge. Let's pick up our back knee again, and we'll just walk back over through Prasarita here. And this time, why don't we take a clasped hand position behind the back, interlacing the hands, and inhale, lift the chest, and feel the space in the sides of your waist as you exhale, fold, keep that. And 